In this video, I'll show you how to adjust the text sizes specifically in tablet and mobile view using Elementor. So as you can see here, I'm working on a landing page for my client. This is what it looks like in desktop. However, if I look at other views, it doesn't always appear that way. Sometimes text is overlapped or the text is way too big for the screen. So for example, I'm just going to pull up my inspector and show you what it might look like in a responsive view. So that looks okay. This could be a little bit bigger, but if I scroll down, this is way too big. It just takes up too much screen space, especially this quote here. And I don't want it to look like that when it's in tablet or mobile. I want to make sure everything has a really great viewing experience, regardless of what type of device you're looking at. I went ahead and I logged into this website and I'm going to press edit with Elementor. Alternatively, if you're in your dashboard, you can just click on the page that you're editing and press edit with Elementor in the pages section. Elementor is going to go ahead and load up and I'm just going to go straight down to that big statistic that I was showing you earlier. This one looks huge in mobile and you literally have to do a couple scrolls to see the whole thing. So what you would do is click on the pencil, click on style, press the pencil that's next to typography. Next to size, you'll see that there's a drop down. There's a little tablet portrait view and mobile portrait. So in this case, I wanna edit tablet first. Usually when I'm editing for mobile, I usually use M's instead of pixels because doing things by pixels sometimes is just way too tedious. So in this case, what I'm going to do, I have tablet selected. I'm going to do M and M's are pretty large. So if you do 42 M's, for example, it's going to be huge, very huge text. You won't eat at this point. It doesn't even show me the text. See, even if I do 10, so I've started with three and that's how it ends up. I'm going to go ahead down to 2.8. That looks a lot better for me. And then for mobile view, it shows me this really big string of text. Ideally, I only want it in two or three lines. So again, I have it set on M's. I'm going to try two M's. Uh, that looks all right. I'm going to go 1.8. How's that? Uh, let's go a little bit smaller. Now it looks too tiny. So I still want it to make an impact. Let's try making it two. And then I'm also going to adjust what the text below it looks like in mobile. So I click on that, I click on typography. In mobile, I'm gonna select M's because it's what I want it to be. Let's try 1.5. Now that text isn't competing. I'm just gonna make it a tiny bit smaller. There we go. So if I go ahead and update this, then I recommend actually looking on your actual devices. So load it up on your mobile device, load it up on your tablet to see if it's to your liking. But generally when it comes to using M's for text on mobile and tablet, I usually go anywhere from one to about four-ish. Sometimes you can go higher, but that's pretty rare. But what it's going to do with the M's is it's going to adjust the size of the text in comparison to the device sizes. Hope that was helpful for you. That is how you change the typography or text for mobile and tablet in Elementor.